Morning. Good morning. I'm Daniel. Uh, Daniel, good to see you. Yes, nice to see you too. Uh, it's yeah. an exciting day for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah? Have you ever seen that other <laughs> toilet? <laughs> it's gone. It's sitting out there. It's gone. Yeah? Well, this will be just in time for the long weekend. My name is Daniel. I'm with Incinerating Toilets, and I'm happy to be here today with Ken, who purchased a Cinderella back in May May of this year. Of uh, this year, yes. Yeah. Ken, why don't you tell us a little bit where we are? I bought the place in 1969. My family grew up here in the summers and whatnot, and we're in at Head Lake, which is five miles west of Norland, Ontario. So it's a beautiful area. Absolutely. We're sitting here. Actually, you can't see it in the video, but we're looking over the lake and. Uh, there's a little island out there. It's just a beautiful day out there. A little bit too windy to do video outside though. Yes. <laughs> Over the years you've probably had a few different toilet solutions here or, or waste management solution. Originally I had a, uh, a, a flush toilet and uh, I run into a septic system problem uh, which I found out was a 45 gallon oil drum and then Put in back in '37, and then okay. uh, uh, I put in a new septic, whole new septic system, and I had a flush toilet for a number of years, and then I went to a, a composting toilet in 2001, and uh, probably the biggest mistake I ever made, <laughs> but uh, I put up with it for 15 years, and uh, yeah. And it, it, it worked pretty well for right. a number of years, but then the fan quit, and, or the heater quit rather, and then the, one of the fans quit. Right. So I decided that it was time for something new, and I had visited Halliburton uh, Cottage uh, Show uh, two years ago in 2018, and saw this unit, and then uh, when I saw the Cottage Life magazine this year, saw it again, picture it again, and right. I made the uh, contacts. and subsequently bought it. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can't live without a fan or or a heater on, on those composting no, toilets. Cannot. It does yeah. not work. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's pretty crazy. So, so you've had a few different units in place and the flush toilet actually flushed into the barrel? Is that what you're saying? It was that a 40, was a 45 gallon oil drum. And then it had holes in it and essentially it just... That was about it. Wow. <laughs> that's... That's definitely not allowed anymore. That's what it was allowed back in 37, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yeah. So what, like when you saw the Cinderella product, what kind of stood out to you about it right away? I, th I think the fact that I didn't have to depend on a septic system any longer, because I'm using uh, gray wells for underneath the, dry wells rather, underneath the cottage. Right. And that's working out all right and not a problem. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to get another composting toilet, you know, spending that kind of money for it and I you know, don't like it. And uh, I decided to buy it and I like the, uh, how the compactness of it, the, the easy to maintain right. it. Yeah. And uh, just, it was the right thing to do. Yeah, was, that actually leads into my next question is like, you know, when you look at the maintenance of what you've had in place before, say the composting toilet specifically, versus now having had the Cinderella for almost three months. Um, you know, what What does that look like when you compare one to the other? There is no comparison, Daniel. <laughs> there is no comparison. No comparison, is there? And it's just so much better system. Right. And uh, as I say, I have had no difficulties with it at all. I'm trying to do it by the book uh, right. that you left me. Yep. And uh, everything's working good. So in terms of maintenance level, you're just like it's a lot less involvement in terms on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis. Tremendous of amount less. Yeah. yeah. Just, you can't, uh, you can't compare it. Right. It's, uh, and then of course I always used to clean the composting one out in the spring. That was your job. That was my job. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and normally it worked pretty well for right. few years when everything was working right, but after that it became a bit of a problem. Right. But, and I lived with it longer than I should have. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. It was a cleaning, cleaning problem, cleaning the bowl liner and stuff like that. This system is just, you know, you can clean it in two minutes. Right. And do it at the time you're going to put the water in and boil it away and, you know, keep the, keep the kettles clean. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. just, there's so much difference. Right. Yeah, what we hear right. from a lot of composting toilet owners is the season's very short for it to be able to compost fully here. That's true. And so, you know, you've... It, 
it may do the first part in the composter, but you still have to put it somewhere else to finish composting. What would you say to someone who would be considering the Cinderella solution for their own property? I would recommend it highly. I would offer them that they could come and look at my place, oh, really? see how oh, simple yeah. it would work. That's nice. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, talk them into it because it's, yeah. a, it's a four seasons uh, toilet system, no water involved other than when you're doing your catalyst cleans. Yeah. But it, it's just a great product. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, Ken. Thank you very much. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate the time.